so guys in this video we will be doing the rest room from track me so let's get started and the ip address is 10 10 35 to 20 i have already run the nmap scan we have two ports open and the web port and the redis port so let's go to the web page and press ctrl u to see there are any usernames hidden or not So there are there is no juicy information in the source code. So we show you this uh, search for Redis pen testing, and you will get this website. So I have learned this uh, pen testing Redis from this website uh, when doing the proving grounds. Uh, I have got another type of machine with the Redis port open. There you got a uh, load one module into the Redis. So this uh, book dot hack tricks is very awesome website it contains most almost uh, how to pen test all the ports. So okay, first we don't have any uh, authentication here. So I'm going to use a tool called Redis CLI. So this Redis CLI is uh, by default installed in the Kalinux. So if not, you can just install this using app and connecting to the host so it did not ask me for the password now i can go and type info to get some information so this redis is a in memory database so uh, whatever you write uh, to this database uh, it will be in the memory so you can uh, save that data to the file here you can see executable is in the home vayanka redis table so this uh, you can see here Vyanka can be a username on the system so you have an idea that Vyanka is the user what you can do is you can write to the user folder so to do that you can just say uh, config set directory uh, you can see here this is the syntax first we need to set this to the directory and uh, set the file name and the contents of the file and then you rashly save this one so let's go and do this config set directory uh, home vayanka dot ssh and it says no such file or directory so that means we cannot create the folders there so let's uh, upload it to this uh, web port so okay let's change this configuration directory to where w html and it says okay so that means we can write to this uh, directory so let's assume that the backend was php and did not uh, tell the php so let's uh, Okay, let's just try for the PHP first and if it fails, then we can search for uh, other backend languages. Uh, so let's name it this one as shell.php. So how to write the file contents? Set to test and the file contents. So set test and let's put the command execution one php system dot underscore get off c now simply save this uh, i think we can go to the shell dot php and we can see this redis is like a banner so it will be by default so what you can do is you can say ampersand c is equals to id uh, question mark sorry and you can see we have the double 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 data so we got the code execution now let's search for python if there is a python installed on system so there is a python so let's grab the python reversal
so let's copy this and start the reason around one two three four so paste it here and we get the shell let's import to uh, tty shell So let's let's go back. Let's go to the home and CD Vyanka, and we can get the user dot txt. So let's list our permissions. So. So let's search for suit binaries. And you can see here XHD is a different one. So let's go to GTF opens and let's see if I can find anything on XHD. So we have one file read file right so we so we cannot pawn the shell directly we can just read the files and you can modify the files so here what they have asked is uh, what is the local user account password so okay i think we need to read the hc shadow file so you can see it worked out so we can run uh, we can read any file on the system so let's for uh, let's copy this password so you can just uh, use the john and you get the result as beautiful one so i'm not going to show that i'm going to skip that so okay let's focus on uh, getting the root shell xxt let's modify the sudo errors okay what we can do is let's go to temp directory and pipe this output to temp sudo errors so if you view the temp sudo is file so this is the file and we need to add our user or the permissions so what we can do is cat end of line append to temp sudo errors so copy this now we can say www data and no password are the commands are the commands and are the machines now type uol and now if you view the temp sudo s and you can see we have added we have okay i did not add d my mistake Let's say temp sudo is one. No password hall. Now if you do this. So we need to overwrite our original sudo errors file with this temporary one. So how do you do that? So echo data xhd reverse and output that one to file name. So echo sorry cat temp sudo errors one and pipe that to xhd and pipe that to and reverse and let's see.
students now i think our this file should override the original sudo errors so to check that you can type sudo bin bash p and you can see we got the root cd root you can grab the root.txt okay let's also crack the password so let's copy the hash I think I have already copied this. So let's run this, John. So I think we need to. Now run this, and we get the beautiful one as the password. Okay, so that's all for this uh, Redis pen testing. So I highly recommend to go to this website and practice all these commands uh, to get the idea of how to pen test Redis.